Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss. Back again with another video. And today we're going to take a look at the Bluteo UFO Plus. Now these are extra bass wireless studio headphones. Now, y'all got to bear with me. I did lose my voice the other night going crazy at this barbecue, but we're going to get through this. First up, let me show you the website real quick so you can see where to get it from. Go to Amazon.com. I'll throw the link up in the description. All right, so we got the Bluteo UFO Plus. Now, these are the extra bass wireless headphones. The price on these, $249.99. So you're looking at $250. Bucks. All right, now we'll go through all of the specs. They right here in the box. All right, so these are the Bluteo Amazing Life. Impedient resonance of high fidelity in rear cavity, light titanium alloy body, physical positioning, and you get surround sound. Now check this out. You get 12 drivers. That's kind of crazy. Six drivers in each ear. Okay, let's see any specs that we need to talk about. You got PPS, physical positioning, surround sound effect. You got your EQ sound, PPS sound, surround sound. You got TRT sound. Got VFT, Flow Technology. You got Bluetooth version 4.1. These are adaptive, hi-fi sound, and 12 drivers. What does all that mean? These should sound dope. So even if you don't know what all that tech mumbo jumbo means, these should sound pretty good. Let's see, you got our Bluetooth 4.1, range 33 feet. Now, six drivers in each ear. So you got two 50 millimeter drivers, two 30 millimeter drivers, and eight 20 millimeter drivers. So separate drivers for the highs, mids, and the lows. Let's see, uh, Bluetooth music time, you got 25 hours. Talk time, another 25 hours. So you know, maximum volume, let's call it 20 hours. That's still pretty good. Standby time, 1,000 hours. It's ridiculous. To fully charge these up, it's going to take you anywhere between three and five hours. All right, now you get a carrying case, audio cable, and the user's manual. All right, so here we go. Nice looking presentation, 250 bucks. You expect that. Let's see. Now inside, here's your usual books and shit. Y'all wanna read them? Rah. Just like that. With the plastic. Okay, and here's your headphones. Now you get a nice hard shell case, some Blue Deal branding. You get a handle and a carabiner clip. Now, what I use these for, you, you probably don't want to clip these onto a bag with some $250 headphones swinging on the bag, but while you're wearing the headphones, clip the case to your bag. All right, nice, nice quality zip on this. I like that. That's always a nice touch. Okay, so let's see. You got a little flap inside the carrying case. Here's your 3.5 millimeter L-shape and a standard. Now this is a nice little touch tool. Got a little rubber, little rubber connector for your full size adapter. If you got the old school or the hi-fi stereo systems, if you're gonna do some real DJing activity, you're gonna need this. All right, so this way you don't have to worry about losing that. That's cool. And you get the flex cable. All right, so this is a nice long cable, but the end of it does flex. Let's see, you get your micro USB charging cable. Now this is a flat, tangle free style. Definitely feeling those. So when you ball these up, they come right back out. And your headphones. Now just to look over the case one more time, got a little velvet style material on the inside. Let me see, you can take this out if you want. I'll probably leave this in, fit them right in the grooves. Okay, so here's your headphones. Now, let's see. Okay, now these don't fold up, they actually swivel up. All right, so that's kind of cool. Instead of folding, now you got swivel. Y'all see the monster headphones. One of my favorite features is the swivel ear cups. So this way, if you're on a flight or you're sitting on the bus or the train and you got somebody with you and y'all want to have a conversation, flip up one ear, whoever's sitting next to you, you can still talk to them. When they finish running their mouth, flip it back down. It's a nice little touch. Now, if you notice, you do have, this see, these go from one to nine. One to nine with the levels. That's cool, so when you find the perfect fit, just remember. So if you wear five, every time you pull these out, you can take it directly to five, and you'll know you have the perfect fit. And they do have a nice click. You got protein leather. All right, shout out to the vegan squad. UFO branding on the top. 
So you got some plastic. We'll get that out in a minute. Now you have two separate slots. Slots. <laughs> two separate slots you can stick your 3.5 cable in. This way, you can use left or right. I tend to go right. Here's your power button. Now these are touch capacitive controls. All right, so no actual buttons. So you got your power button. This is also your Bluetooth pairing. You got volume up, volume down, skip and reverse tracks. All right, so we'll go ahead and power these on real quick. Now it's in pairing mode. Now a nice touch, you do have voice prompts. So it said power on and it said pairing. And now the LED is blue. So let me grab a phone real quick. Let's, let's see how long this takes to pair up. Let's see, well, I got the Motorola on deck. Okay, popped up just like that, Uf, uh, UFO Plus. Connected. Phone connected. All right, so we're good to go. Now, all of that fancy specs and all that stuff in the box, all of the impedance and the ohms and frequency, all of that doesn't mean nothing if the headphones don't sound good. So we're gonna have to do the live music test. All right, so let me go ahead and drop these on. Let's see, they fit nice and snug now. Nice, comfortable feel. Let's take it to Amazon Music and we'll find a little song and we'll get it popping. All right, so let's take it to the first song that popped up, Future Wicked. Let me fall back a little bit away from the microphone so I don't be screaming on y'all. Let's go. Woo, okay. <laughs> All right, so this is the song. Here we go. Here we go. Woo! Yo! Now hold up. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta stand up. Woo! Stand up on the motor, bust the dance move. Stand up on the motor, bust the dance move. Okay, hold up. Let me come back. Let me come back. Oh, oh my God. Yo, all right. Let me just make sure, let me just make sure. Oh my God. Let me just make sure I'm not OD hyping it up. Let me find something else real quick. Let's throw on some Travis Scott antidote real quick. Now y'all hear this on. All right, here we go. Here we go. Don't you open up that window. Here come that bass drop. Ooh. And the hills is all we know. All right, I'm gonna pause this. Yo, yo, all right. 250 bucks for these on a scale of one to 10. I would say buy these yesterday. All right, jump in your time machine and go, go back in time and buy these yesterday so you can have them for today. These sound incredible. Now, whether you whether you get into all of the tech specs with the 12 drivers and ohms and all that stuff and look at the side of the box. Let me see if I still got that. You can check this out for yourself. All right, look at this. This is the speaker design right here, all those drivers. Whether you believe all this stuff or not or you think it's some kind of market employee, let me tell you this. When the bass dropped on these, I, I I almost had a little almost had a little episode behind the camera. I almost fell out of my chair. I was not expecting them to be this heavy with the bass. Now I know a lot of people are gonna ask me immediately, what sounds better? These are the monster elements. I'm gonna go out on a limb. I might have to pause the video and do some side by side testing, but they might they might almost sound the same, but these might be a little bit better. These might be a little bit better and they're $100 cheaper. Hold up, let me take it back one more time. Let me, let's let that rock one more time. Hold up. Oh my God, yo. My head is shaking. Don't you let out that antidote. I gotta wait for the second bass drop. Woo, the, the mids and the highs. All right, hold up. All right, I'm, I'm getting too hyped, man. I'm having too much fun. Let me pause. Let me, let me pause this. All right, now a lot of times, I know I'm killing you. A lot of times when you get these super bass heavy headphones, like y'all see me review the Sony, the MDRs the other day, there's a lot of bass and not too much with the highs and the mids. That's why I always go back to my Monster Elements or the Monster 24Ks because there's a nice mix of you know boosted amplified bass and highs and mids. 
Shout out to Bluteo. They hit a home run with these. Now these are wireless. Let me try, let me just go ahead and plug the wire in real quick. Yo, imagine these with the sub pack M2. I think these might I think these might sound better than the uh than the Mofis here. Now the Mofis, the Mofis just get super loud. These might have more bass though. So let me plug the headphones in real quick. Oh, meanwhile, look, see? I just did it again. I forgot I'm using this moto. No headphone jack. Hold this L. Let me take it to Amazon on, on my iPhone real quick. These no head these no headphone jack phones, man, at some point. Not really feeling that. All right, let's see what we got on deck. All right, here we, let's just rock the future. Now we got the future on the iPhone. Let's get max volume on this. All right, so now I'm playing these wired connection. Wait, 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 wait. All right, heard enough. Heard enough. It wasn't, it wasn't a fluke. Now I will say it did sound better. It did sound better on the wireless version. It was a little bit louder and a little bit more clear. I gotta say, I'm officially blown away right now. I'm officially blown away on these. 250 bucks, fold up. Now the build quality, let's see, let's check out the build. I don't even have to pause the video, play no more songs. I heard enough. Build quality, it says you got metal frame, don't feel like cheap plastic. Let's see, did it automatically connect back to my other phone? Look at this. All right, it connected back to the Moto. Let's check the touch controls, make sure they work. Let's see. Okay, now matter of fact, they aren't touched, you could actually press these. You see, it's a little click to them. All right, now, of course, I got the song on repeat. So every time I click, it's gonna start from the beginning. Now let's check the volume up and down. That's max volume. Volume does work. Let's hit play and pause. All right, so the controls do work. <sighs> Fellas, on a scale of one to 10, these are a major, major, major win. This is going into my this is going into my top my top five favorite headphones immediately. All right, now 250 bucks, you actually saving hundred dollars on getting these over the Monster Elements. So I would have to recommend getting these. Now, of course, you know the Monster Elements, they do look better. You know, they do look better. Plus, you're playing, you know, you're paying a little bit more money for some of that branding. You're paying for that monster branded. But sound-wise, comfort-wise, now he's got a nice stretch. I was looking in the mirror behind the camera. They're going to sit like this on your head. Nice and comfortable. You got that protein leather. Yo, you do got some left and right. All right, left and right. But you want to put your controls on your right-hand side. And they swivel. Like I said, fellas and ladies, check these out for yourself. Now, if you don't believe me, because I know a lot of people be thinking that I'm some kind of hype beast, and that's cool. If you don't believe me, it ain't gonna hurt you to order these and try them out for yourself. Now, shout out to my man, Luis Castro. All right, Luis Castro, this video is specifically for you because he told me, he said, get these headphones, you're gonna be blown away. This Luis Castro right here. All right, he told me to try these headphones out. And y'all know, I like to try out stuff that people recommend. <sighs> These are winning right here. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. I am blown away. These are going to be the... As a matter of fact, these ones match the sub pack to a little bit better than my MoFi's. The MoFi's have more of that space age kind of look. These are going to go better with the uh, sub pack when I'm wearing them on my bike. Dope. Anyway. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hit me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I see y'all in the comments section early, hashtag salute.
Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. One to beam up. Energize.